welcome viewers in this video we'll see the details about ac servo motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic ac servo motor we know that servo motor is a position control motor it's not a continuously rotating motor mainly used for position control that is for used in the radar tracking system, guidance system, process controller, computer, machine tools, wherever we need a position. Just we need to change the position in that we are using the servo motors, not for continuous rotation motor. This motor is controlled by a separate controller. This controller will give the control signal to operate this motor. It's called a servo motor. We have DC servo motor is also available and that a separate video available for DC servo motor link is given in the description box and also introduction about the servo motor also separate video available so in this video we will see the AC servo motor so the construction wise that we presently most of the AC servo motors are of the two phase screw gauge induction type and used for low power applications two phase will be there Normally it has the one is the fixed phase, another one is a control phase. What we need is control. So one phase will be fixed, another one control. That we can change the voltage in the next phase. This is a screw gauge induction type. That is for low power application. However, recently three phase induction motor have been modified for high power servo system which had so far been using high power DC servo motors. Right. Normally we are using for high power we are using DC servo motor that can be now replaced by three phase induction motors. Now we will see this one by one. First we will see the two phase AC servo motor. So this is a two phase AC servo motor. Gauge rotor is available. The bars are fixed. The coils are fixed here. There are two phases. One is fixed phase. Vm is the applied voltage. Angle is zero. Another one is control phase. Applied voltage is Va with 90 degree plus or minus 90 degree. So there is a phase difference between fixed phase and control phase is 90 degree. So because of 90 degree, if any small change in current or voltage in this control phase, that will be reflected in the speed or position of the rotor. So it will not allow for any small change and also it is not rotating continuously. Any small changes that will be reflected as a either speed or position control. That is the main advantage of this servo motor. The important condition is two phases are there. The, the phase difference between these two phases, fixed phase and control phase would be 90 degree. Then only we can use for position control. I will see that. Such motor normally runs on the on a frequency of 60 hertz or 400 hertz. The stator has a two distributed windings which are displaced from each other by 90 degree. That is the important condition. 90 degree means there is a there is no rotation. It is one is opposing by another one. So any changes in that will reflected as a speed control or position control. So that only our requirement. Our requirement is not continuous rotation. The main winding also called reference or fixed winding is supplied from a constant voltage source Vm with an angle of 0 degree. Now we will see the other winding. The other winding also called a control phase is supplied with a variable voltage of the same frequency as the reference phase but is displaced by 90 degree electrical. So there is a phase difference of 90 degree between control phase and fixed phase. So that we are getting a position or speed control for any small change in voltage or current. Then this is the speed torque characteristics is available. The speed is there, negative speed also available, torque is available in Y axis. So it is a negative slope, inversely proportional. High rotor resistance, when the rotor resistance increases, the, the value also keep on increases. This one refer high, this one refers low. Okay, so negative slope is there. When the speed increases, torque will decreases. Now we will see the what are the advantages. 
the control phase voltage is controlled by an electronic controller i already told you is controlled by a controller from controller we are getting the signal control signal from that only the servo motors are operated now we'll see the speed torque characteristics the speed and torque of the rotor are controlled by phase difference between the main and control winding reversing the phase difference between this leading and lagging reverse the motor direction that is plus 90 degree minus 90 degrees there from that we can reverse the direction of the motor now we'll see the other detail then with the high resistance since the rotor bar have high resistance the speed torque characteristics for various armature voltage are almost linear linear as well as the negative slope over a wide range of wide speed range particularly near the zero speed so it is linear when the speed speed changes torque also changes linearly it is going in a linear manner and have negative slope the motor operation can be controlled by varying the voltage of the main phase while keeping that of reference phase is constant. By keeping reference phase constant, by controlling the main phase, we can control the operation of this motor. I will go to the AC, three phase AC servo motor. This is about the two phase. So the second type is a three phase AC servo motor. A great deal of research has been to modify a three phase screw gauge induction motor for use of high power servo system. Normally, for high power, we are using DC. So, the research is going on to convert three phase screw gauge induction motor into three phase AC servo motor. Such a motor is highly non linear coupled, cir coupled circuit device. Non linear. Recently, I will see the remaining detail. Recently, this machine has been operated successfully as a linear decoupled machine like a DC machine by using a control method called vector control or field oriented control. So, this is under research only. So, the testing is going on. So, normally it will go for non-linear coupled but it is tested for linear coupled like a DC machine by using vector control or field orientation control. The vector control is a different advanced method, a separate video is available for the vector, what is meant by vector control. In this method, the current fed to the machine or controlled in such a way that its torque and flux become decoupled as in the DC machine. So based on the vector control, they are decoupling the torque and flux as usual in the DC machine. This result in a high speed and a high torque response. Right? So not implemented practically, it is under research. Converting three phase screw gauge induction motor into high power servo system by using the vector control. So in this video we discuss about the AC servo motor. We know that servo motor used for control purpose, position control, not for continuous rotation. DC servo motor available, AC servo motor available. So the separate video available for both. In this AC servo motor, two types, two phase and three phase. Three phase is under research. Two phase, we are using the 90 degree phase difference between the applied voltage of main winding and phase winding so that we are able to get the position control. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening. All the best for your examination.